Hey YouTube. Y'all see my face? Don't I look excited to film today? <laughs> um, it's just so cold. Like, it, it's weird. So, in the summer, I'm just like, it's way too hot. Like, I can really use some cold weather. And then when the cold weather get here, gets here, I'm crying because it's too cold and I want some sunshine and warm weather. So, if it can, like, remain springtime and fall when it's 70s, low 80s, hey, I'd be a happy camper. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, excuse me. Anyways, um, just a little update on my life. Um, I am currently on birth control and prenatal vitamins. I get my protocol on Wednesday. Um, my appointment is at 11.45. Um, I have received a transfer date, um, which that's exciting. Um, sorry, I thought I heard my princess, but I guess she finally fell asleep. Um, she's been in her room playing. Anyway, I get my protocol on Wednesday, and um, I'm going to be ordering my medications. Guys, I'm not looking forward to these shots, and it's not really even the shots, because the shot is like a prick, and then you're done. It's those freaking patches. Like, the first patch is like, okay, and then when you start adding two patches and three patches, like your back just starts itching and then you get all that sticky stuff. I feel like it took forever for me to get all of that sticky stuff off my back. Excuse me. Um, but, oh, and then what else was, what? oh, and then those pills, the progesterone pills. My God, I am not looking forward to putting progesterone pills. I'm not looking forward to inserting them vaginally again. I wish that my doctor would give us the oral pills but they swear up and down that it's um not as effective but hey i'm not gonna complain because i i just want my munchkin um my i want my new prince or princess or whatever it's gonna be um excuse me so uh, many of you who have already went through an FET or who are, um, I guess, getting, who's already have their protocol and you kind of can do a timetable, I guess you can figure out when my uh, transfer date is. Um, we're not giving that out, but I will let everybody know once we've um, completed that date or completed the transfer and we've received our um, test results and stuff. Um, so yeah, our, our I do know our protocol is on the average time frame of the, you know, some people's are longer, some people's aren't. So ours is pretty much on average. So you can figure out the date then, then hey. But um, anyways, um, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. Um, so just to refresh everybody's memory, the first time we went through IVF, um, the FET cycle did not take, um, and the second time around, we ended up with Princess Kennedy. <laughs> um, and on that day, I got up early in the morning, I had breakfast, and, um, got a deep tissue massage just to make sure blood was flowing through my you know my body and I was as relaxed as possible I take that back we didn't have breakfast that morning we ate after everything was done I remember that now because I was so hungry <laughs> um so we um got myself a deep tissue massage we're definitely going to do that again because I really feel like that helped me stay relaxed um you know, sometimes going to the doctor's office, especially getting like a pap or whatever, you, you kind of tense up. Well, I know I do. I don't know about other people, but just sticking foreign objects inside of my body is just, that's not fun. 
<laughs> so anyways, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, praying for the twins this time around because we do want three kids. I, hey, I want two. My husband wants three. But um, hopefully we can get this over with this first first time get twins and keep on trucking um we have five embryos left um and of course i gotta transfer to you oh excuse me i do know that they said since i've given birth i guess they have to do some special type of um ultrasound on wednesday to make sure that there was nothing left inside after giving birth that would impede the implantation process so um, they did advise me to take some Motrin before I come in so um, she said it may leave me in pain because it's not an ordinary um, ultrasound um, my last FET Actually, both FETs, I did take a pregnancy test in between um, before I even got my blood drawn. Um, as far as advice on that to anybody, I just say, you know, do what you want to do. I know they tell you not to take it because you can get a false reading. Um, I do remember that there's this one shot that not everybody didn't take it. I, I know I didn't take it. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I know it's a hormone, a HCG hormone shot. The really, 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 really a trigger shot. Boom. There it goes. So for those of you who are taking trigger shots, I personally would not recommend you doing um, a pregnancy test in between your two week wait i believe that trigger shot is the ones where people are getting the false reading pregnancy test um and it's best just to wait your two weeks because you don't want to get your hopes up or you don't want to get sad and then you end up pray like it's just too much of an emotional roller coaster my doctor um ordered the trigger shot for me but once we went in and we did um blood work and ultrasound and stuff she told me she said I don't need to take it uh, my lining she said your lining is really it looks really good and we're ready to implant and um, we're, re we're ready to do the transfer and I don't think you need the trigger shot so we never took the trigger shot so I didn't have all that that boost of um, pregnancy hormones just floating around um, I'm gonna go back and look at my old pictures and videos but I believe off the top of my head, I took a pregnancy test on day five after transfer and I got a positive line. It was so faint, but every day it got darker and darker and darker. So by day, I think by day eight or nine, guys, I, no, no, no. It was about day seven or day eight. I stopped taking the pregnancy test and I got the digital pregnancy test. I stopped taking the regular one and got the digital one because those lines were just tripping me out. Even though it was so dark, it just said, hey, yo, you're pregnant. I was like, no, I need to read the word yes. <laughs> Don't judge me, guys. So, um, anyways, um, we will be doing that again, like I said. Um, the deep tissue massage, I recommend that for anybody um, going in. I don't, I don't know about the acupuncture. I know we did that the first time. And acupuncture just did not work for us. Um, and the second time we did the deep tissue. So I do recommend deep tissue. Just have somebody. I, I prefer a man because men got the muscles and they really get up in there. So just get you a deep tissue massage. It has the blood flowing and all that good stuff. Go in there and relax and put it all in God's hands. Um, I'm going to let everybody go now. I will talk to everybody on Wednesday to let you all know what's going on, what my protocol is and compared to the very, my, my last protocol. Um, but like I said, hopefully it should be about the same and I will see you all later. Bye.